Hi everyone, Alan Hicken here again. Well, I did say I was going to do another video and here it is. Uh, as you can see in the video, everyone, I have three P. Rufalata juveniles. I, I obtained these three specimens from the BTS this year uh, from a couple from Hungary. Uh, I have got three male red runners, Turkestan roaches, just in there, look. Uh, I have got a fair few um, males in my colony, so I thought I'd just pick the three males out. And they've got wings, so I can probably just tongue feed them by holding the tongues on the wings just there. So yeah, first one up is this one here, number one. So let's just open the lid. Uh, let's turn it around. Uh, some tarantulas do do that. They cover the water dish for some strange reason. And there's the first one. Just down there, look. You can just see. You can see its abdomen just sticking out. Uh, they've all burrowed down, which is uh, yeah, which is perfectly fine. So here goes. I'm going to just grab the first red runner. Cool. Come here. Oops, and I dropped it on the floor. First chance I get. <laughs> Here we go. Let's just come around that corner there. Yeah, there it is. Hoping I just get one attack would be uh, very nice. That one's hungry. Well, what I'll do is I'll leave the um, the roach in there. But that one, that one, that one might be a female. The folded stripe on the abdomen's not that pronounced, so yeah, that's good. So let's just put the lid back on that one. She might eat it a bit later. Let's just open this window because it does get a bit. Warm and stifling in there. There's my just my oil radiator. Turn it down. I always turn it down at night time because I like my temperature to be around about 70 degrees at night time. So let's try number two. Oh, that feels better. <laughs> so let's just take the lid off this one. And same with this one. It's just hovered in the corner just there. Let's just remove that water dish from there. Just push this back so we can see some attack. So let's just get the next one. Here we go, everyone. It might be hungry, it might not. Let's see what happens. It's just gone round the, uh, yeah, it's gone round the other side. Yeah. Dinner time. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful now. Definitely do a rehouse. The next, um, I can rehouse uh, one of them. I'll show you the reason why in a minute. Let's just try and uh, let's try and get an attack for you guys if I can. But to be fair, I don't think none of them are that hungry. To be fair, 
Uh, uh, let's leave that one in there. Let's, oh, it, might, it might, it might not. Let's get all that substrate out of there. Well, it's not looking too good yet, guys. I don't think none of them are that hungry yet. So let's just put that one there. And last but not least, number three. And there's number three just down there. So let's get my red runner. I use my hands, it's just a lot easier. There we go. Well, it's not easier because I've just dropped it. <laughs> Are we going to get our attack today? Please. I think we're going to get an attack today, guys. Oh, unfortunately not. I'm afraid. I don't think none of them are hungry. But what I could do, I could try and, try and feed them in another two or three days or so. See what happens. But, um, sorry about that, everyone. But what I'll do is I'll put the lid on and I'll leave the roaches in there for, I don't know, half an hour or so. And if they don't eat them, then I'll take them back out. So, sorry about that, everyone. And thanks for watching, everyone.